guys welcome back to messy and beautiful i'm sarah jane thanks for joining me today for another video um i'm hauling things that i've kind of bought that i forgot about in my like maternity leave haul video that i did um that kicked this all back off again um and my christmas presents because i got some awesome christmas presents so i'm not gonna try and i'm gonna i'm gonna try not to spend too long showing you stuff because there's quite a bit here um but i wanted to share it with you because in the interest of showing you plannery type related things um so first thing that i wanted to show you were these two vellum pattern paper packs that i got from the range um i have pulled some stuff out of here for my planner setups but they were really cheap. They were like, I don't know, £1.50 or £2. And they've just got some plain coloured vellum sheets. I love this. Look at this. Like florals. I'm not sponsored by the range, but my God. We're going to get a new one soon as well. Um, that's taking over a great big shop in the centre of town where I live. Um, and me and my friend Lisa joked that we'll be there camping out the night before to be the first ones in there. Um <laughs> is probably true but i love it i just i love these um i've got a little bit of an obsession with vellum at the moment so these were kind of perfect um but you get 36 sheets they're a5 size um just really really good value and again i've pulled some out of both of these for my planner setup i don't know if i'm going to use them yet but that's not really my style some of these aren't my style but this like i love this this is kind of gothic -y to me like that's cool purples i love my purples some like kind of vintage paper looking some gray these are really pretty pretty florals bright purple look at that one do i have a sheet of that in the house yet yeah, got a sheet of that inside but you get three of each design just some brown and then some peonies which goes really nicely with the grumpy tortoise advent calendar as well so if you've got that and you want some vellum this might be the place to go um because you get tons and tons for your money but i saw those and i bought them when i was kind of buying december daily stuff um and i thought i'd share them with you because i just think they're really good value um the next thing i got was in primark i don't know if they still got them some little stitch stickers so i missed the happy planner release for stitch because i like i like it but it's not the be all and end all for me but because I love Disney, I thought I felt like I missed out a little bit. And then I saw these when we were shopping for Christmas presents. So I was like, I'm just going to get them because they're £1.30. Like, I can't say no to that. So they're like Christmassy ones. <laughs> there's that stitch wrapped up in tape. And there's some label, like box stickers. And I just think, again, £1.30, can't go wrong. So three different designs, two sheets, kind of wintry, kind of Christmassy. £1.50, £1.30 from Primark um so i'm always on the hunt for a good bargain as well so the next thing i got was like a little present from my husband he does this from time to time like i think sometimes he feels guilty about the load that i take for doing the housework and stuff while he's working because he works really long hours um so sometimes from time to time he'll buy me a little something here and there when he sees it um so he went into hmv when he was doing his christmas shopping and he came home with a couple of little bits of me so he got me some pin badges these are like little Japanese ones called Oppi. And it's like a little frock. <laughs> it's just cute. It's really cute. Uh, they were four quid. He's left the price on the back. Um, but just really cute little pin badges. So they are going to go in, which I now have found, because I forgot I bought this actually, my embroidery hoop. I'm going to get some fabric and then I'm going to put all my little pin badges in it. And then that is going on the wall of my shed. Um, so yeah, that's what's going to happen with those. And then he got me a little notebook to go with it because he knows I love I love paper and I love pens <laughs> so he got me a little notebook um and I think I'm gonna just chuck that it's A7 apparently it's from Kenji um Kenji Land is the appears to be the brand but just a little something from HMV super cute um yeah so that's where they came from um the next couple of bits I got when I was on holiday with my family in the summer um, so I've got a few Tumblestone crystals because they had a lot of crystal shops where we were and I, I, I'm obsessed with going in them and looking at all the pretties. Um, so I've got some lapis lazuli. I actually have a necklace made out of this that it means a lot to me because my husband bought me it when we first got together. So we spent a day going to the Natural History Museum in London um, 
and I was just looking at rocks and looking at rocks and I didn't realize like this connection did not happen for me until very recently he then bought me a necklace that had lapis lazuli on it and it was like a, a point so it was like uh, like this sort of thing um much much smaller obviously um that had lapis lazuli on it and I didn't know what it was at the time and I just thought it was really cool and I used to wear it all the time and then it broke so I stopped wearing it but I've still got the actual charm um even though one of the gems in it has broken um so I've still got it and it means a lot to me because it was like our first proper date um and then of course here we are 13 years later we're still together um so then I saw this and I was like, I want some lapis lazuli. So, and then I've subsequently learned that's what it is. Um, I didn't know that's what it was before. Um, some citrine, I think. I think that's citrine. Some amethyst, because I can never get enough of my amethyst. Because I've got great big ones as well. Love it. Um, I don't know a lot about crystals but I'm learning like, and I like it. So, and I do believe in it. Um, red Jasper, I believe. I can't remember what this one is. If anyone knows what this one is, if you could comment for me down below, it's kind of cream in coloured and it's got like little specks and stuff in it, but I can't remember because it was months ago and I'm surprised I remembered the ones I did. Um, so I bought five little tumble stones. I think it was like five for two pounds or something. And I was like, do you know what? Yeah, doing it. Um, and then, Lynn Valley Art and Craft Centre in Linton. Oh, we were in Devon. That's where these came from. We were in Devon. Um, so I bought a bookmark because I just thought it was so cool. And it's like a handmade thing. Treasures of Exmoor. And it's made from sea glass. And it's like a little diving mermaid with a load of sea glass beads. An anchor at the bottom. And then some more sea glass on the end. And it's just the colour of it. And I just thought that is so pretty. And I feel like it's, I don't know, I was drawn to it. There was something about it. There was, there was this whole art and craft centre, you know, where the, like people have handmade things and whatever. Um, and there were loads of these, but I was just drawn to this one, I think, because of the colours of it, naturally. Um, and the mermaid thing was kind of singing to me because I've been collecting stuff to do a mermaid themed junk journal for a long time. And I've never got round to starting it. Um, but also The Little Mermaid's my favourite Disney film, like, it, I don't know, there was something about it that I was like, I just have to have it, so I bought that when I was on holiday last year, but I, it's just been sat in the bag, evidently, because I even tore the sticker today to get it out of the bag, um, and I forgot I had it, so that's when you know you've got a problem. So then the next thing I got is my Christmas presents. Um, we do Secret Santa in my house with my brother and my sisters. Um, we're a big family of adults, so we just do Secret Santa. And this year I got, among a couple of other bits and pieces, these are like the planner type items I got that I thought you'd want to see. I got some stays on white ink from Sukineko. Hopefully I've said that correctly. Um, I have never used stays on ink before. But the reason I wanted stays on ink is because Ali Edwards was talking about how good it is as a stamping ink. And I don't have any white and I wanted white for my December daily to do like snowy type stuff because of course we had some snow in December. Um, so yeah, I put that on my list and my secrets under this year was my sister. And the minute I saw the bag, it said Holly Jolly on it. I was like, I know who that, I know who's bought me my Christmas presents. <laughs> it was just something about it. And then I saw a handwriting. So naturally I knew it was her. And then the other thing I got was a slice tool. Um, again, I asked for this because I have seen people use them and talk about how good they are. And I know one came in the Southwest Planner Club box recently, but this is the one that people rave about. So she got me a slice tool as well. And it comes with a cap, which is lovely. And then the last few bits are from my husband. Um, these are what I got from him for Christmas. Again, planner themed because this is what I like. This is what the sort of stuff I ask for for gifts. Um, it makes me happy. So I got a We Are Memory Keepers corner punch um, with the Stalogy in mind because I do have a cross cut one that's currently in the house so I can't show you it. Um, but it's getting a bit tired um, so I thought I'd ask for a new one. And then these bits he bought of his own volition with no input from me whatsoever. Um, and the reason I ended up with that was because he asked me for something that I actually wanted. So I sent him a link to something and he bought me that. Um, but these bits, so he bought me from Gretel Creates. 
I have opened this to have a look because of course it's my Christmas present so I'm not going to sit there and not open it in front of him and just be like oh yeah thanks I'll open that on my channel that's just rude um, <laughs> but yeah he bought me a book washi tape from Gretel Creates so it's all bookshelves and stuff this can go in my setup actually can't it all right books 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 one of which is a massive dictionary which I do have on my shelf Aristotle like cats and dogs <laughs> I can't read some of those. My eyesight's not that good. But a bookshelf washi from Gretel Creates was one of my presents. Very cute. Um, this is one of my favourites. So I'm going to save that for a minute. So then he ordered for me from the Planner Crypt, which is never a shop I've bought from. But this is the second time he's bought me stuff from the Planner Crypt, which is just weird. It's just strange. I think because it's like kind of gothy and he knows I like that kind of stuff too. Um, so... Just a little card to say thank you for your order. Um, he ordered me... Oh, this looks like a little, a little freebie. I love this. Look at this. Right. I'm still getting used to where my camera is. Sorry. I'm on a different camera. Um, I love this. So just kind of a black and grey. That's really pretty. Stuff. Um, black and grey box sticker, I mean. Not just stuff, is it? Right. And then he got me which he's bought me before <laughs> he didn't even realize um this first one's a different one so uh what goes with what they go with that one right so he bought me a winter dreams kit which is this one look gorgeous 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 snowy owls like animals woodland butterflies like the moon and stars just pretty pretty look at this um yeah i'm kind of skipping over it, aren't i so you get full boxes you get your like half boxes your washi strips and checklists some date dots days of the week always useful when you're in a salergy and then your headers and like bill g boxes appointment from two i like that love the colors very pretty so that's one of the kits he bought me i just think it's so funny that he bought me the same thing and he didn't even realize so this is it's a reformatted version i love this one i'm going to turn that over um it's a reformatted version but he has bought me this before and it is slightly different it's not exactly the same um of this purple alice kit you might remember seeing this if you've watched my channel before so there's the full boxes because look he's picked it because of the colors i know exactly why he's picked it he knows me very well um but yeah i haven't used the last one yet so now i've got two well not two exactly the same two very similar um but look curiously alice sticker sheets oh water trackers they're cute i like those and then some deco look at that teacup isn't that made for me like very pretty so there's that one and then the last one he got me which oh my god i love it i really really love it i love those but this is just something else look at it like isn't she just amazing look at that rabbit like if you don't know the alice in wonderland thing comes from our wedding we ended up with an alice in wonderland theme um, I can't really remember why, but somehow we got trapped down the rabbit hole, didn't we? Um, it was something to do with one in woodland, but also like, what do you call it? Steampunk. Um, and we wanted kind of that mix of stuff. So we ended up with Alice in Wonderland. And so now he buys me Alice things, but I love them. Look, it's not even my favourite Disney film. But ever since I get Alice in Wonderland themed stuff, not all the time, just sometimes. Like he bought me the the original text and stuff as well, not like a limited edition or anything. But and these, but yeah. Um, so that's a couple of kits from the Planner kit, Crypt. Um, three kits, in fact. So we obviously spent a fair bit. Oh yeah, and there's some extra bits that go with that kit as well. We obviously got me the full kit. So I've got some date dots. Look at the deco. Eat me and drink me. We had those at our wedding, of course. The keys is very similar to what we had. The teacups. Right, look at the Cheshire cat grinning all scarily. Right, header strips, icons. Um, yeah, so he obviously, he knows me very well, doesn't he? He knows me very well. And this, oh my God. Right, I want a roll of this washi tape for a start. 
I nearly bought from, this is from the Sticky Bunny, I nearly bought from the Sticky Bunny in the Black Friday sales. And, spoiler alert, the reason I didn't was because I saw an envelope arrive and you know it gets, you get the like, return address on the side. It said on the side and I went, I cannot order anything from there until I know what I've got for Christmas because I thought if it's a big order then I'm stuffed. Um, but it's not, it's only a little one. But look how cute! I just love it. But that's why it says thank you for your order, Alex, because that's my husband. It's not me. Um, but yeah, so cute. And he only ordered me one thing. But look at her. Like just adorable. Even the little heart on the tea bag. She's wearing glasses. Like love her. Love her so much. Um, and then just a little freebie that came with it like hot chocolate and cosy nights and there's loyalty stickers and you get a little loyalty card um collect 10 and get 10 percent off awesome i don't think that's going to be a problem because look <gasps> right and then the last thing i got is another big thing so i'm just going to interject here before i show you my very last thing um there's a couple of bits that i've just seen as i was leaving my shed that i forgot to show you that i got for christmas um so this came from one of my friends um at my book club so we used to meet every first friday of the month but because our lives have got busier with children all like three of the four of us um it's it started off bigger and it's whittled down to the four of us but they're three of my closest friends and they're wonderful people um and this is one of the things that one of the girls gave me. So it says, friends come and go like waves of the ocean. But this, the true ones stick like an octopus on your face. And it really made me laugh. Um, and it's a starry bracelet. And which for me, you know me, is a sign, isn't it? Um, and you basically tie it around your wrist and you make a wish. And then when the string starts to fray, you know your wish is going to come true. And I just think it's so cute. Um, she bought me a book and some other bits and pieces as well. I did get a couple of books for Christmas and some socks and that kind of stuff. Um, but I just wanted to show that because I just thought it was a really nice, thoughtful present. And one of the other things that I got super excited about, because it's going in my shed, so it's kind of related to my channel, um, but it's it was like ridiculously hard to get hold of. Um, and my husband managed to get it for me. It's a Blink-182 pop vinyl set. I don't know whether I'm going to take them out of the box or not. Um, but they are my lifelong favourite band. Whenever they come to this country, I don't miss. I don't miss a gig. I just don't. I have to see them every time they come. Um, they've got back together properly with Tom DeLong. I do feel a little bit sorry for the guy from Alkaline Trio, Mike Skiba, um, because he is, I guess, no longer part of the band. And their albums were good with him on it. But the three of them have got back together, and they're doing a tour this year. And I've got tickets for them and my husband managed to get me the pop vinyl so I got so excited about this I was screaming like a little kid um it just I wasn't expecting it at all at all because it's so it was so hard to get hold of and we looked and we looked and we couldn't find it anywhere so somehow he managed to get me one um which I'm incredibly grateful for and like I said I don't know if I'm going to take it out of the box or not I haven't decided yet I sort of feel like I will because I'm never ever going to get rid of this ever like I love it um, so yeah, that's the two things that I forgot to show you. Um, but I'll move on now and show you my last present because I'll put this bit in before my very last one. Something I did ask for. I don't know if this is going to fit. I might have to move up a bit. Let's move this up a little. I can't move it up too far because my camera's not going to fit in the holder. But it is a Hello Kitty hard case for my planner stuff um so it is like a vanity type thing um it's got plastic on it as well i haven't taken it all off yet thank god i didn't because the first thing i did just now was drag it along the floor and it's all scratched along the back which would have really annoyed me but thankfully it's got the plastic on the back too so it's got all the protective stuff on it still i am going to load it up i asked for this for planner stuff because you open it up it's a hard case so nothing can get squashed and then inside, it's got like a zip pocket on this side, so I can put loads of stuff in here. It's got a shoulder strap, and it's even got like a little mirror thing. It's definitely a vanity case, isn't it? Um, and some pockets, and then like a big pocket underneath this. So I'm thinking like my planners and things can go in here, my supplies and stuff can go in this side. I can do it up. 
I can do it up, put the strap on it, and off I go to a planner event. Because um, I'm at two planner events this year and I can't wait. And so this is what I got. Um, it was just from Amazon. There's loads of them, like hard vanity case type things. Um, loads of different styles. And I got this idea from one of the Facebook groups. Um, and I, once I've loaded it up, maybe I'll take you through it. But I just, I love the idea. And so I asked for one for Christmas and I got one. Um, so yeah, that's my kind of Christmas presenty sort of purchase -y type haul. Um, I am just going to move this out of the way because it is big. Um, yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and a little bit of an insight into my life in terms of, you know, where I shop and Secret Santa and my wedding and stuff. Um, and if you did enjoy this video, then do come back and see me again. Hit the subscribe button down below. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to get my subscribers up. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Take care. Bye.